Shawnee, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. You guys all know my strange little addiction, and that is lip products. I literally have hundreds and hundreds of lip products in my collection. It's a sickness, it's bad. We just don't need to talk about it, and we'll just move on. This tag was created for people like me and probably you if you're watching this video. This is the Lip Product Addict Tag and I'm really excited to be filming this for you guys because it's been a while since I filmed a tag and it has also been a while since I've seen this tag video buzzing around YouTube. I am really, really late on the bandwagon. This is such a fun tag. So let's jump right into all of the questions. The first question is, what is your favorite balm or treatment? And I have to say that I kind of jump around with lip balms. I don't consistently use the same one, but one that I know that I reach for if my lips are extremely cracked or dry is the Jack Black Lip Balm. This is just a standard. I always keep it with me. I always have one in my purse. There's always one by my bedside. There's always one somewhere in my makeup collection, and I always have a backup one that is all sealed and ready to go in case one happens to run out. The flavor that I have here is the black tea and blackberry, but honestly, I like all of them. I think my favorite is the lemon chamomile one because it smells like lemon Skittles. Really, really hydrating stuff. Not too thick, not sticky at all, but really does a phenomenal job of moisturizing your lips. I really do like it. Question number two is what is your favorite eye-catching red? And honestly, this is one I've talked about on my channel so much. This is the Lime Crime Velveteen in the shade Red Velvet. I absolutely love this product because it is so incredibly pigmented, very, very long wearing. It has a matte finish to it. It's a funny story that comes with this lip product. If you guys watched my iMats haul video where I initially bought this product, that was a couple years ago. I had never heard of these up until, you know, a couple years ago. And when I went to iMats, I was at the Lime Crime booth and I was buying some of their lipsticks because I heard that their lipsticks were amazing. And I heard all of the other people around me, like all of the other customers yelling, I want red velvet, I want red velvet. And I was just like, what is red velvet? Like, are they just craving cake for some reason? Either way, I asked the lady who worked at Lime Crime, what is red velvet? And she was like, oh, it's our new liquid lipstick. And I was like, yep, yep, give it to me, give it to me, throw it in my bag, come on, let's go let's check out let's go I want this now and after trying it on and after seeing tons of other people wear it I have officially declared this my favorite red because it's amazing it looks good on everybody I can recommend it to everybody and know that it will work question number three the best luxury and the best drugstore product so luxury took me a while to decide and after looking through my collection, I've decided that my favorite luxury lipstick is one that I have the most of, and they are the Bite lipsticks. These are exclusively available at Sephora, and they are just phenomenal quality. You know, recently YouTube has been blowing up about the Bite lipsticks. Tons of people have been talking about them, but I actually initially got them. I don't want to be that kind of hipster or anything, but... I got them before, like, anybody was talking about them on YouTube. I've had them for years now, and I really, really do love them. My favorite shade, I think, of all time is Mulberry, which is just the perfect, like, berry red purple color. It looks good on all skin tones, but every time I wear this lipstick, I always get comments and compliments on it and I just love it and one shade that I got which is new to me this one is called crimson which I'm really really excited to wear it's a gorgeous pinky red and then as far as best drugstore this was another one that I kind of had to brood over a little bit but at the end of the day I decided that my favorite drugstore lipstick are the ones that I have the most of in my collection because they are that fabulous. These are the Milani Color Statement Lipsticks and I have done reviews on 
every single color in this lipstick line. There are a lot of them. They have over 30 shades to choose from. I was really going back and forth between these and the Maybelline Vivids because I love those as well. They, those are just phenomenal. But I decided to go with these because the color selection is much better. Two of my favorites are Ruby Valentine, which is probably my favorite drugstore red lipstick of all time. And I also really, really do love Violet. Volt, which looks very similar to Max Violetta lipstick. It's a very, very bright purple. If you guys are curious to see these on my lips, I will link my review videos that I did for these lipsticks. I did two separate videos, one for the reds, one for the purples, and I'll put links to those in the description box down below. Question number four is best MAC lipstick. And when I was going through my MAC lipsticks, Funny enough, I realized I don't use them as much as I should. And I think the reason I don't use them as much is because I have so many other lipsticks that I just tend to gravitate towards more because I don't like the packaging of the MAC lipsticks. Is that really, really lame? I think that's really lame. But something about this MAC lipstick bullet just doesn't draw me in the way even the Bite ones draw me in more. And I don't know, it's just something about this looks more appealing to my eye than these do. You know, the Milani ones are like gold, which just stand out. When I'm just looking at my lipstick drawers, it's just, these just never catch my eye. But Despite that, I do have a lot of MAC lipsticks, and I really do love MAC lipsticks. They have a wide variety of shades to choose from, and despite the outer packaging not being the most appealing thing to me, the shade that I realized that I love the most, and it's because it's one of the most unique shades in my collection, it was the first truly neon pink that I ever bought, and to this day it's probably my favorite, is Candy Yum Yum. And this is just a very, very neon bright pink. The camera will never do this shade justice. It is really, really intense. It's a shade that I'm not even sure really looks that great on me, but it's so unique in my opinion. While there are tons of bright pinks out on the market now, there's just something about this one I just love. Question number five, most disappointing lip product. Now this is going to be something that's probably going to be a shock to some of you guys. I've never mentioned this lipstick on my channel because I have never liked it. And this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay, what is it called exactly? Oh sorry, Glamazon Pure Performance 12 Hour Lipstick. And they come in this really unnecessary packaging. It's this really large bamboo tube, but the amount of lipstick you're getting is only that much. I've only used this lipstick like three times, so this is pretty much a full tube, and you can see this is so unnecessary packaging. The shade I have is called Bold, and it's a really, really beautiful coral pinky type shade. Very, very beautiful shade. I have nothing wrong with that. The thing that I hate about it is the formula. It's dry, but when it's on your lips throughout the day, it moves and it gathers into all the little cracks you have in your lips. It kind of patches up on the inside part of your lips, you know, where like, you know, the inside of your mouth meets with the outer part of your lip. Normally, that's a problem with something that's too hydrating because it's too slippery and it just, you know, it doesn't stick. And it's so strange how this is still not slippery. It's kind of drying, but it still moves. I just don't, I don't like it. Question number six, lip liner, yes or no? And I am one of those people that's kind of split on the whole lip liner thing. I think lip liner comes in super, super handy when you are wearing a bright, bold, or very punchy lip color shade. I think lip liner is a must in those kinds of things. I do still use a lip liner with my Red Velvet uh, Velveteen. Despite these not bleeding, I just find a lip liner gives you that nice, really, really crisp um, outer edge, and I love having a nice crisp line when I have bold or bright colors. Question seven, 
favorite gloss and this is something that I just recently mentioned in my July favorites video if you guys watched that video um, but I have two new shades to show you guys because I just recently got these and I am loving them these are the buxom lip glosses by uh, bare essentials you can get these at Sephora and these are not new lip glosses at all to the market. They are like the classic, iconic, buxom product. They are so nice. They have a minty scent. They're a little tingly. They do have kind of like a lip plumper action. So if you don't like that you may not like these but I don't find that these burn or anything they just have a nice freshness to them and they're not sticky they're just really good and some of the shimmery shades like this one in the shade Celeste is so 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 glittery it catches the light and it just sparkles like no other lip product I have this other shade I have is called dolly which is one of their more classic shades okay and the last question question number eight just says something extra and the thing that I wanted to mention in my something extra is a product that is very very popular on the market right now Tons of brands have a product like them, and they are Jumbo Lip Pencils. Jumbo Lip Pencils have recently become the new thing of lip products because they are so easy to apply. With most of them, you don't need a lip liner because they have the precision of a lip liner because they have that point, yet you know they come in tons of different formulas some of them are sheer very balmy and moisturizing some of them are full color matte opaque um, some of the matte opaque ones are such like this Revlon color burst matte balm I do have a full review on these and I'll put a link to that in the description box down below some of the more sheer um, like shimmery ones are the L'Oreal the balms these are new they just came onto the market recently and I have really been loving them this shade is called vintage rose and it is what I'm wearing on my lips right now the Tarte Lip Surgeons, this shade is called Flashy. This is, I think, what put Jumbo Lip Pencils on the map. And another one that is full color, totally opaque, are these Urban Decay Super Saturated High Gloss Lip Pencils. I've talked about these on my channel before. Absolutely incredible. I love all of them. I love the ones that twist up, like these three, more than the Urban Decay, because this one you have to sharpen. But... Honestly, I don't think you can go wrong with any jumbo lip pencil. So that is it. That wraps up my lip product addict tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, please let me know in the comments down below what your favorite lip products are. Answer some of these questions in the comments down below for me. And I'm always up for trying some new lip products because I am the ultimate lip product addict. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.